In this video, I am going to show you two different ways to determine the size of your MySQL databases and tables. Now, the first way is by using PHP MyAdmin. And what you wanna do is you wanna log into your cPanel, like I am logged into mine here, and you want to scroll down to about the middle here until you find the databases section and then look for the icon or the link for PHP MyAdmin. Uh, you can click either one, it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click the link here to launch PHP MyAdmin. And once that launches, on the left-hand side, you will see a list of all your databases. Just click the database you are looking at to start determining the size of the tables. So I'll click this one. And that brings up the list of tables within that database. And you can go over here to the right hand side and look at the size column. And it will show you the size for each of your tables. Uh, for instance, this one is 48 kilobytes, this one 96 kilobytes, 32, 112, etc. And you can either add those all up or you can just look down here at the bottom and see that your total is uh, 704 kilobytes right there. Uh, if you do have a large number of tables in the database, you may have to page through each page of tables, adding up the size to get the total size. But that is how you determine the size of your database and tables using PHP MyAdmin. All right, the second way to determine the size of your MySQL databases and tables is by using your favorite Secure Shell or SSH client. You'll want to make sure you enter the correct host name as well as the port number if necessary, and then when prompted, your username and password. Now, I've already done those steps to save a little bit of time, so the next step is to issue the command to connect to MySQL. So you're gonna to wanna to enter MySQL space dash U, and here is where you put in your username, so I'll go ahead and put in mine but you would replace that right there with your username and then a space and then dash P. You have to enter your password once again and that will connect you to MySQL. Now, once you're in MySQL, to determine the sizes of all of your databases, we're gonna wanna enter the following command. You're gonna wanna do a select table schema and we'll call that column database. And then we're gonna do a little bit of math here on the lengths. So we'll do some rounding of a sum of the data length plus the index length. And then to make sure our numbers all work out in megabytes, we are going to divide that out. And we will call that column size in megabytes. And that is from information schema, oops, tables, and then we're gonna group by table schema. And hit enter. And what is output on the screen here is the name of each database and then the size in megabytes. So you can see my video SAH database has 0 0.69 megabytes uh, in total size. So that is roughly the equivalent to what we saw uh, using my PHP admin. So that is the total size for the database. If you want to see the sizes of the specific tables in the database, we need to issue a different command. You wanna enter select table name as table. And then again, we're gonna do a bunch of math here. Data length plus the index length get that to work out in megabytes. And again, we'll call that size in megabytes. You wanna do that from the information schema dot tables, where table schema equals, and then I'm gonna put a quote here, and then you wanna put the name of your database. So I'm gonna put the name of uh, my database here, but you would replace what's inside the quotes here with the name of your database. So I'll go ahead and put mine, and then the ending quote. Again, that would be the name of your database. And then we're gonna do an order by the data length plus the index length. And we do that descending because that will put the largest table 
at the top of our list. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you can see there's a list of the tables inside the database that I entered. The largest table being WPZS options is 0.11 megabytes. And then it works down to the smallest table at the bottom, WPZS term relationships, which is 0.03 megabytes. So that's a way to use Secure Shell or SSH to log into MySQL and issue those queries to determine the size of your database tables. So now you know two ways to check the size of your MySQL databases and tables. The first way is through your cPanel by using PHP My Admin, and the second way is with your favorite Secure Shell or SSH client. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com forward slash KB.